And a good zombie comic this week, issue 30 of The Walking Dead. You love it, I love it, we all love it. You know why? Because it's amazing. And this issue is nothing short of that. Incredible twist at the end, so many things go on, and a great situation of last issue, we were at the town where the governor was running and seeing everything that was going on with Glenn and Michonne and Rick and everybody. Now it's back at the prison compound, seeing how freaked out everybody else is sitting around for two days, waiting for these, you know, beloved members of their group to come back. They have no idea what they're doing out there. So they can't even imagine what's actually happening to them. I'm pretty sure that what they think is happening to them isn't even as bad as what's actually happening to them. I mean, Rick got his effing hand cut off. His hand. He's gonna have one uh, unpleased wife in the future. But that's a different story. So Walking Dead continues. Everybody in the compound is freaked out. Some are taking it worse than others. Carol seems to still be trying to get to Lori, but apparently not, but that's all what we think, especially Lori, who gets really pissed at her and just kind of leaves, thinking that she's trying to advance on her yet again, but what are you gonna do? Find out that Dale is really irked about the whole situation of everybody not coming back and really wants to know how they're doing when they're coming back and wants to be, you know, incredibly, incredibly ready when they do come back. Uh, Andrea has been practicing her sniping skills, which seems to be as Kevin was talking to me about. Nice foreshadowing. She goes into the fact that she wants to pick off zombies to prepare for if other people from other groups who want to take their prison, their home if you will, that if they do come she'll be prepared and can, you know, snipe some people out. It's a great little idea. Could be something useful in the future, in the future of the next two, three episodes, depending on the end of this twist, which was great. So, I'm pretty sure you'll all be eagerly anticipating issue 31 as much as I am.